<clears throat> well, this wasn't expected, so instead of a story arc, we have a story saga. Enter the puzzle vision. <clears throat> this is going to be a quick review since I am just not really fan. Don't write much of a full edge review for this one. And actually, <clears throat> I'm going to make this as a bit of a quick review since it's been a month since I don't want to review it. Why not just talk about my thoughts on it? <clears throat> So, to quickly recap the two movies and last year's Wolfie, <clears throat> It's Gonna Be Perfect was pretty good, and for sure a lot of stuff that's gonna be happening later as well as the new castle. Watch Your Spaghetti was a pretty good movie focusing on Tari and Maggie. War of the Fat Times 2023, I do enjoy it, although I kind of wish they didn't re reveal it was Maddie until the movie comes out. I know not everything really needs to be a surprise, it's our secret, but... Come on, you could have agreed. Sorry, that's... Anyways. <clears throat> but sometimes I just prefer not going the... Uh, I feel like I want to keep the... Are you kidding me? It was him this whole time moment. And... Yeah, there was a lot between in between events, such as the new castle looks good, the bomb cafe, Sentient Arm, as well as Tari, also Tari got a new voice actress, and Lil Tim Bond, and I don't really have much to say with her, and stop bringing up that miscommun- a lot of miscommunications, and that became a whole big mess of controversy that thankfully has recently died down a lot recently, but yeah. I have no hate toward anyone, but man, this incident caused so much as trauma these days. This reminds me of the one of the incident. No, actually, I still like her replacement. Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, you know, please know that. I don't hate anyone. I think both new and old Yantra's voice actors did. Pretty good jobs. Um, um, as her, although this incident kind of tarnished Wanda Lee's relationship. Wanda Lee is a pretty good voice actress. An all-time one. I'll be a little tarnished, to be honest, after the incident, but I think she's still gonna live good, despite that, and... Still gonna live too. She's still gonna do fine anyways, although a little tarnished. As for the other voice actor, as her sort of replacement for like one episode, I think she did a pretty good job. Wow. And I say, pretty good voice actress, mainly my hero academia, but one or two other roles. And also Genshin, excuse me. Yes, okay. But yeah, I kind of felt like that incident kind of caught. Anyways, Londo is still going to do good despite the incident. And okay, now we can talk about it. Then we also get to. Oh, the Dark and Stormy Night episode, and... Excuse me, Nancy. Yeah, no TV will make Mario Okie dokie because yeah, that was kind of a bit 
Oh yeah, it does reveal that the Tari Sentient Arm is named Zep Vickery Pastor, who don't really much to say with him. And also Opaz of Vision's voice actor. Excuse me. Uh, surprisingly, it's Jelly Apocalypse. Seeing he's a pretty good jack of all trades, although a little controversial and a little prideful. Well, in my opinion. I have no hate to watch Jelly Apocalypse. I mean, good jack of all trades, dude, but. Eh, he always feels like a little too. Con a little controversial and a little prideful, in my opinion. Mm. Anyways, so let's see. Then we get to a lot of Puzzle Vision originals, which parody Blue's Clue, Once Upon a Time stuff, Scooby Doo with a uh, Animal Trans parody. Sorry, I just, just don't really like that franchise. And the game show. Then we also get to the movie. Kind of book ending a little bit. I mean, plots are basically someone making perfect to get a five star rating and um. <clears throat> Say the movie was pretty good, mostly just basically SNG4 trying to, you know... Although there was a bit of a musical happening in the background, and honestly... Although I do feel like it was kind of a bit of a weird horror mixed with other things, and... And my personal opinion on the movie is good. It does feel a little bit more on the more musical theme as well at moments. What are we parroting Disney or Hasbun Hotel nowadays? I don't know, they probably saw Hasbun Hotel and also Disney movies and thought, yeah, let's add musical. I mean, SMG4 is not, no stranger to not adding music. Uh, yeah, and also, why not do, a, I know, Wolf Eats exist. Nowadays, I don't know, I want to go with pre-2015 that is not basically here in a musical for all the 500th time. And other than that, and I feel like while I admit it, those were the live remaining TV shows, and also Luigi didn't start to be a Mount Hammer, and I think the finale fight was good, but kind of a little just there. Other than that. <clears throat> Overall, personal opinions. It is pretty good, but although I do also get some sympathetic backstory to to Puzzle, Mr. Puzzle, who was kind of of the dude that went. And an extreme backstory, and referencing, and but man, this guy was kind of also. Mm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say overall the saga is integrate from five, one to five and the star system a four out of five. A four out of five. Yeah, I'm not giving it five star because the reason why and to be honest, I think 
mm, to be honest, I know this is the first saga in SNG4 usually like, to experiment, but it feels like a kind of dare, to be honest. It feels this long launching story log that eh, good, but never grand ending, to be honest. And eh, so I just came back from the new. And yeah, to be honest, it was kind of there. Oh, let's just check that I'm still recording. <clears throat> So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you may be wondering where have I been? I didn't do Jotron or anything else. I was just kind of Forward these days, doing reviews, and honestly, I just feel like Western media is a bit fallen. And I kind of had plans to sort of watch like like three or two more films, to be honest. Let's see. I think one from Disney, which is Soul. Um, Sony will be on the Spider Verse Part Two, and I already did migration, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see how they're coming. No, not the mind. Maybe one film with DreamWorks. No, it's not the main mind sequel TV show. I don't know. These days I just don't review a lot of TV shows and movies. Mainly because I feel like Western media is a bit fallen these days. What I've been watching recently, if any cartoon, if anyone asked me what I was watching recently with a cartoon, I may watch Hasman Hotel, but maybe not now. It is Lower Deck. I, you know, as much as a Star Wars guy myself, and Eh, why not check out the franchises in the meanwhile, and Lower Deck was pretty good, although I feel like mainly after season one. Season one is good, but not really that much. It did feel like trying to be a bit Rick and Morty, although it kind of died down a little bit on the Rick and Morty when the seasons go on. Still has good humor and everything. Nice little callbacks, to be honest, to, to other franchises. But I might also want to watch those old scientist crossover episodes if I feel like it. Strange you know, a crossover. Sad the show is going to end after the fifth season. <sighs> Anyways, I would like to say thank you for watching. Thank you for the great comments on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye. Oh, yeah, right. One more thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, life has gotten in the way. And I don't know anything can help me with doing like co. Uh, help me do as well as also watch Western media these days. I always feel like it's a bit too fallen these days. And I've been mostly into anime these days, so yeah. Okay, now I can say goodbye. Bye.